What's up, my dudes? Welcome to pregame for February 18th. Today, we have some information from back in the day. Um, actually, I have something that I'm going to share with you, a story uh, about one of my very beloved objects. Um, but first, let's read a few things before we get into story time. Genesis 2, 18. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Proverbs 13, 20. He who walks with the wise, who, he who walks with wise men will be wise, but the companion of fools will be destroyed. <clears throat> Many will say they are loyal friends, but who can find one who is truly reliable? Proverbs 20, verse 6. And then Proverbs 17, 17. A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. Now, I have a story that pertains to this, and today's Devo is affectionately labeled squad goals squad goals what are we talking about We're talking about the people that we are surrounding ourselves with like this these verses talk about and I've got an illustration that I want to bring you to but I need to prepare you for what you're about to see because I actually have a picture for you to view let me tell you about this picture first a little bit this object I don't want to spoil it yet this object was something that a friend of mine and I worked on together he actually we had two of them there was a black one and a white one it was all they were awesome together they conquered many things it was, it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. Both of them met their demise, but it was worth every bit of it. And I'm going to bring you into a story of the first time that I took possession of one of these. The um, You're going to see, uh, well, here, let me just show you. Are you ready? Here we go. Boom. This is a 1982 Toyota pickup, lifted probably 12 to 16 inches. Um, the top of that uh, here um, on mine, this is not one of mine, this is a picture I found. I actually don't, pretty sad about it, I don't have any pictures of mine. Mine was white, but um, pretty much everything that you see is what I had and we had two of them he, my my good friend had a black one the only difference was that his was a long bed mine was the short bed like this one you could not if i was six i'm six foot one i could not see into the back of this truck standing up you had to climb to even just see the back of this thing they were ginormous okay 33, uh, these are probably a little bit bigger tires, 33 super swampers on it. You could hear me coming down the road from a good two miles away. The tires were incredibly loud, all right? An awesome machine that we spent a ton of time on. He spent a ton of money on both of them. For uh, we're, we're a high schooler, so a ton of money was, you know, roughly around a thousand bucks or so. They were both uh, probably uh, junkier as far as um, looking at this one. This one's probably souped up in somebody's baby. Uh, ours were like uh, whatever it took to get it down the road kind of thing because we were pretty rough on them. We lived in the hills. We uh, did a ton of rock climbing and mudding with these things. It was amazing. All right. So I take possession of the one after we were done lifting it and doing some little things to it. All right. This first night we go into the hills. There's a bunch of us, a bunch of vehicles out, and we come across 
what um, is now described as the uh, the jump of death. All right, we're kind of you know moving around a lot, getting through some mud mud puddles and things like that, and we uh, we come across this thing, and everybody's kind of parked and and just kind of hanging for a little bit, you know. And they're like, dude, you should totally jump that thing. And I'm like, nah, nah, there's no way. There's no way I'm doing that, right? And my buddy's like, dude, I will not let you jump that thing. That is way too high. You will kill yourself trying, all right? And we were there for a little while, hanging out. And uh, and it just, they just kept going on and on dude that truck will totally take it just jump it dude jump it jump it finally they were getting to me they were getting to me finally it was like no i'm not gonna do it i'm heading out and so uh you know we all kind of load back up we're getting ready to go and i was the first one out and i turned heading out kind of the circle that we were in and i turned back toward the jump and I was like, I kind of lined up for it just to kind of look at it. And they all back up and kind of line off to the side with their vehicles. It's dark. The lights are shining in the area where I would crash land. And um, they get out and they start, you know, cheering. Do it, do it. And I'm like, there's no way, dude. I mean, this, all right. So it was already, you're coming down a hill and then it's a berm up, right? And then there's probably, I don't know, it seemed like thousands of feet, okay? It's probably like 30, 40 feet off the ground. It was up there, dude. All right? They're like, do it. My buddy Jason's like, do not jump that truck. Do not jump that truck. We just put a, a decent amount of money in this thing. We need time with both of them to not be broken, right? I'm like, dude, I got to do it. I mean, I just, I have to do it. I had to do it. I could not say no to the, I couldn't, I couldn't not do it at that point. I don't know why. And so I line up, I back it up a little bit, get a good running start, dude. And I hit that thing probably going a good 35 to 40 miles per hour. And I was like, dude, this is Dukes of Hazard style stuff that is happening right now. And then I get about a foot off the ground and I immediately go to regret and fear for my life. I got so much air. I had no idea how high I was going to get by just hitting that ramp because again, the floor where I was jumping to was so much lower. It felt like, I, dude, it was like being in a stadium. You know, you see that monster truck come across, like the Lightning McQueen thing where he's like, uh, that type of thing. That's where I was. At the top of that thing, I was like, oh, wow, I have made a mistake. By three quarters of the way down, I was praying to God that I would survive it. Not, I, I mean, the truck is gone at this point in my mind. I'm going, just please don't let me die, right? I hit, so the front of this, you can kind of see the bumper is very, it's very short nose. So you could pull up to a wall and climb it. That's how awesome this truck was, all right? So the front tires with the tires that we had on it would stick out from the front. It was awesome, all right? I landed, because the weight is in the front of this thing, I landed tilted like this on my front tires. So when I hit, I hit and came back up at an angle. By the way, no seatbelts in this truck. Came back up, hit my head on the top, right? knees busted my knee up a little bit and um it it hit a second time boom and the truck's dead and i go and i open my eyes kind of thing and i'm like 
you know, kind of look around. I'm alive. That's awesome. Thank you, God. Now let's go see what the damage is. And I get out and I proceed to look around. My buddy walks up. He's like, that was awesome. But oh my God, are you okay? <laughs> right? We look around the truck. Um, it actually uh, fared very, very well. Actually, I got back in the truck. I noticed it wasn't running. I was like, wait a minute. So I get back in, try to start it, try to start it. No go. I'm like, dude, I don't know. So we check, you know, fuel lines and everything. Nothing's leaking. Nothing's disconnected. Like, what in the world, man? Um, long story short, we had a, a kill switch inside the cab. And um, I had hit that in, in my flailing about while I was in midair or actually probably when I bounced so the truck ended up being just fine I was a little bruised up but was just fine but here's the thing guys you we have these two different groups of people in our lives that we can surround ourselves with the ones that care about the things in our lives and you specifically like my buddy did with this truck and we were friends you know, he cared about whether I would walk away from that. And then the others who are just saying, just go for it, dude. It's going to be awesome. And God is saying very clearly and very specifically that we've got to lean into the people that actually care and that actually believe the same things that we believe because the outcome could be detrimental this particular story ended up being okay right but I've got more way more dozens more stories where I did the wrong thing because of the people that were around me and it and it was detrimental it uh, some of those things are still coming back to haunt me and I've shared that with you before all right so it is incredibly important that we take this Seriously, that we surround ourselves with people who believe what we believe and care about what we care about. All right. Um, and this is way longer than uh, they normally are, so I'm going to end it on that. But I hope you have are having a great day back at school. I hope to see you tonight on the stream. And in the meantime, happy gaming, and we'll see you next time.